Stars up above me, stars in my eyes Fire below me, starting the rhymes I'm my own captain, hanging on tight tonight Pointless to try and turn back the time I've never been this old in my life Load up my spaceship, tear through the sky, I might Leave regrets and wishes and hopes and bets and Wondering what would happen Think I'd leave it all behind I don't wanna wake up And let my dreams die This moment I'm making mine Don't tell me I'm wasting time I'll show you what I'm made of And give my dreams life I'll put it all on the line Just like back to our channel currently making a sandwich for lunch two sandwiches actually it is friday afternoon november what's the day november 11th veterans day it's 11 11 veterans day happy veterans day thank you to all those who have served yes exactly spent the morning at work or the majority of the day it's like 3 p.m exactly it's 3 02 so we're back home for lunch kind of probably just going to take the rest of the day off since technically it is a holiday. We've been home from Nashville for the week. We got home Monday and we've just been busy. Didn't really film anything just because we were trying to get back into the swing of things. This weekend we're putting up our Christmas decorations. Maybe. Andy's kind of against it. You want any basil? Yeah. Not decorations. So we're gonna put the tree up and I'm waving this knife around. I want to put the tree up but I don't want to decorate it yet until like vlogmas starts like December 1st but I like having it just like up with the lights on it for a long time, but we'll wait for like the ornament part until. This is gourmet. Add it to our list, Andy. Mm -hmm. We always say add it to our list, like if we were to make a restaurant, open a restaurant, we always have like certain ingredients or certain recipes that we add to our list. Does that even make any sense? Add to the menu. Add to the menu. This, I would probably add it to the menu, but I would put like chicken on it. Well, yeah, I, we have chicken. We do, I didn't feel like having any meat. Mm. I think we showed you guys a montage of Andy putting together our new entryway table, um, but this came in a few days ago and I wanted to give you guys a rundown of like where it's, the pieces are from. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm loving the look of this console table. It is like a lot better than I expected, honestly. I think we paid 475 for it, which is like still kind of expensive, but in comparison to like the other ones that we were looking at, all the other console tables were around like 850. So this is like half the price pretty much. And the quality is like really, really nice. It's like a reclaimed wood, I think. And it's from West Elm. I will try to find it and link it down below for you guys. I looked the other day and it weirdly wasn't on the website. I don't know why. Um, but I will link it if I can find it. Don't mind these marks on the wall. This is from when the gate was here for the dogs and it has wrapped up against the wall. So we have to like repaint this and fix that. But yeah, loving the console table. This mirror is from CB2. It's a little bit dirty. I have to clean it. Um, but I love this mirror. It was like 250, I believe, which is pretty good for a mirror of this size. It's honestly, really large it's like a 35 inch mirror i believe we were saying like this is the best thing that we could have done for our entryway i don't know why we didn't do this like a long time ago just because it is so nice and it makes the house just be more put together um this tray we use for like our keys and stuff because you can't really see the keys when they go in there which is nice i got it from this local um boutique in arizona called i think it's lifestyle co so if you live in like phoenix area you can check them out because it's a really cute little store. These books we've had off Amazon, um, Summer Fridays. This is part of my Sephora sale buy. Um, I just left it there, but those books are off Amazon. These antler are from my parents. Uh, my parents have like a business and they also sell like antler art and stuff. So bless you. That's where these are from. This candle is also from Lifestyle Lifestyled Co. 
um, in Arizona. It smells nice. And then this guy I just put there because it was something that like to fill the space for the time being. It's from Home Goods, I believe I got it like last year. And I actually really liked the vase. Um, and yeah, so that's everything for the entryway table. I haven't really decorated it yet, like fully. I just kind of put this stuff on here when it came in to fill it out. Um, I'm gonna put Christmas decorations on there very soon. I'm excited to get the house ready for Christmas. Like I said, we're probably gonna do it this weekend. I ordered stuff, but I can't remember what is in here. So I got this jean jacket. I saw it on Revolve the other day and it's already oversized. So I didn't want to get the large, but it was the only size left. And then I saw the medium was available, available for pre-order, but it wasn't available until like the end of December. So I just pre-ordered it just in case the large is too big. And then the medium came back in stock and the, so it's literally the same. I got two jackets. So now I'm just gonna see which one I like better size wise. So this is the medium. Oh yeah, that is cute. The brand is Levi's. Um, so obviously it's a good brand. Here's the medium, can you tell? Yeah, I think the medium, I don't know actually, let's see. So here's the medium, it's kind of a little bit more oversized, covers my butt. Andy, what do you think? Medium? That's good. Can you just go look at myself in the mirror? That's a medium? Yeah, this is the medium, what does it look like? Good. Let's try the large. Do you want the large, Andy? Do I want it? Yeah. Maybe. The large looks very large. Okay, here's the large. A little bit bigger on the arms, of course. I'm not sure if there's much of a difference in the length. Decided to keep the large. I just think it's, I don't know, I'll leg it more. It's bigger, more my vibe. Cozy, can fit a bunch under it, like a fleece even if I wanted to. Love it. I remember when I first saw your face and how everything changed that day. I remember trying hard to ignore the signs But I couldn't and I didn't know why I remember when I ran so oh far Like speeding trains in the passenger car And I remember that you still came back for me I tried to run and hide But you were by my side I can remember thinking you were crazy love But I don't mind You wouldn't let me go you let me take it slow and now my heart is changing pizza night we haven't made pizza in the longest time i'm gonna make it work Ooh, i'm gonna do my wine out of my christmas glass oh i need to wash it did we have those last christmas yeah i bought them last yeah, see, it's still too cold it's retracting or maybe you can eat it on flour no it's too cold Seriously, it just broke in front of our eyes. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it is. Hey, I'm so annoyed. We're gonna have to buy a new wine opener now. Hold it. And then Great, put, came out. Hold it. Pizza's done out of the oven. Andy's using our pizza cutter that my mom got me for, I think my birthday. And it's honestly like, yeah. really good. Although the pizza is very hot right now. I think she got it from William Sonoma. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm. We made ourselves coffee this morning. How good, I'm proud of us. I dumped mine out and almost dumped it out twice and said, let's go get a Starbucks. <laughs> Something wasn't satisfying me about my coffee. I remember when I gave in everything I had And I remember always wanting you so bad They just came in super fast. Literally, I ordered them. Oh shit. I ordered them like probably a day ago, two days ago. And they're Tony Bianco. I've been wanting a pair of tall boots for so long. I don't own any boots, honestly, that are tall like this. And I had to order them. Honestly, they look like they've been worn. I'm not gonna lie. They have like kind of marks on them. That's interesting. Um, for the boots, these are them. Just like a black tall boot with like a little bit of a heel from Tony Bianco. I have to try them on obviously still, but I really placed my order on the Sephora website like the last day of the sale to restock a few things that I needed. Got a mini of the Ilia mascara. This is my favorite mascara, hands down. Um, but I already have like a, a big, big size, so I just got a small size. Um, this lip liner I'm really excited about. It's from Rare Beauty. I wanted to try out a different lip liner other than like Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and it's like a darker, but it's a darker pink a little bit than Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm excited about that. Oh, and it also turns instead of having to sharpen it. I kind of like that better. Um, so I got that. What else did I get? This was a sample Nest Perfume in the... Madagascar Vanilla. Had to restock on my Kosas concealer. I love this stuff. I use it, have been using it for like the past year and a half. I get shade three in the Kosas concealer. The Revealer concealer. And then this is my dry shampoo that I use. Um, it's called Amika. It's the Perk Up dry shampoo. I love this stuff. And this was also a sample. Glow Recipe Waterman Watermelon Glow. Niacinamide dew drops. I've heard good things about this brand. So figured I would try it out. I don't know what this is. They sent an extra like Amika hair cream, but that's literally it. I got a few things just cause I needed to restock. Nothing huge. We are going to watch some football with one of our friends. I got dressed quick after work and I put on this jacket that I showed you guys yesterday from Revolve. Skirt is from House of Studio, and then this little tank is from Brandy Melville. Cute little football game day watch day outfit. Midday coffee and a stroll. Sunday coffee treat. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I needed. Ooh, that's hitting diffy. Mm, that's hitting good. Ooh, that do be hitting diffy though. 3 p.m. Sunday coffee. Nothing like it. We're headed to the office. We have a little bit of cleaning to do in the office. Um, a ton of like packages that have been broken down that just need to be taken to the recycling. Let's do a haul of your gas station uh, convenience store. Yeah. I guess it's not a gas station, it's a convenience store. No sandwich. Convenience store haul, go. I was gonna get a sandwich. Why didn't, I didn't you? I was gonna get a bag of chips, but I didn't. I was like, I don't need that either. So instead, I just got, hear it? Oh, look at that color. It's an interesting flavor. I don't think I've ever had it. Frost, 
That's like the frost is like the OG flavor. No, it's Arctic Blitz is the flavor. Oh. I love, like, what does that even mean? Mm. Arctic Blitz. What's yeah. it gonna taste Basically like? Basically, it means pre pre preservatives and fake like, sugar. Uh, okay. Fake. Snow? It's gonna taste. It tastes like an iceberg. <laughs> like snow. And I got a San Pellegrino as well. No well, liquid death. No. See, it's good, but it doesn't hit. It doesn't. What's so special about the liquid death? It's so like. Carbonated. Liquid that you crack the can open and it's just like it hits your face. What is in the Christmas decor box? Stockings, we don't need those yet. These are fine. Guys, a little Christmas tree truck, tree skirt, Momo honey, it's not for you. More stockings. This is all stockings and skirt. This cream girl candles. Crate and barrel little uh, reindeers, I love them. <gasps> Another oatmeal cookie candle! Oh, let's go. Yes. This is the best candle ever, you guys. It's from Anthropology. And it's oatmeal cookie. All right, how are we liking this setup? I kind of just like threw some random stuff on here. I've had this garland from Crate and Barrel that we got last year, and I put it on our mantle underneath the TV over there last year, but I kind of like it here um, for now, we'll see. And then these two little candles, obviously just put them there. And then I had these that I also got from Crate and Barrel, and I thought they looked actually kind of cute in that. Just a little bit of a Christmas decor going look bad for now right that looks good pretty good i might want lights on here i'm not sure yet but cute for now this whole situation is still giving very much fall vibes um i kind of want to leave these until thanksgiving is over just because like they're really nice and they are very thanksgiving -y and we did buy them so i want to get my use out of them until we decorate this. So I'll probably decorate this right after Thanksgiving. Um, I need to go up to the store and get some more decor for here, but for right now, we'll leave it. And then the Christmas tree is gonna go in that corner eventually when we wanna do that. Christmas tree time, right now? Probably not right now. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Uh, I'd like to go into a Good morning, Mr. Coffee Maker. Why is that going in so easy? I don't know. I think I've already said this on the vlog before, but this coffee machine has changed our life. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out and see if they have a Black Friday sale for this machine because it is pricey, but it's like, in the long run, I feel like it saves you money because obviously we don't go to a Starbucks as much. We still go. I'm not gonna lie there, but. It makes like the best quality coffee ever and it's like my favorite thing that I've ever purchased. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's Monday morning. Cheers. I think I'm wearing the same sweatshirt that I wore yesterday, but I don't care. Um, we're headed to work. Another busy week, of course, gearing up for the holidays, Black Friday. We're having a sale or a drop this week. So, lots to do. I feel like this might be helpful for some people. I don't really know if it's TMI or oversharing, but I recently got off birth control like mm, in August. And basically just because I had been on it for like 10 years and I kind of wanted to like make my body, like allow my body to go back to normal because I never really knew what I was like 
without like, taking the pill. So I got off of it just for like personal reasons, just wanted to see how I felt. Um, like anxiety levels, like blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And I finally just got my period back yesterday after three months, so two months, and then this month I just got it. So that's pretty good. I'd say I feel like sometimes it takes six months to get your period back after stopping the pill. But if you're like thinking about it, for me, I was like kind of nervous going off of it just cause like you never know how you're gonna act, you think you're gonna get pimples, you think you're gonna gain weight, whatever, the side effects we're getting off of it. Well, my camera ran out of storage as I was talking, but my overall mood and everything, I was just so much happier after getting off of it. I feel like the world looked like a different place. I was just like always happy and optimistic. Not that I was ever like sad, but I feel like as a girl, you know, it's, hormones can be weird. So getting off of the pill was like the best thing ever for me, I think. And now I just feel normal and happy and like life is great. So don't be scared if you're considering that because I know it's a freaky thing, especially if you've been on it for as long as I had. Um, switching things up can be weird, but that's all for me. Hopefully that helps someone. We gotta go to work now. to try and turn back the time I've never been this old in my life Load up my spaceship to throw the sky I'm at